If you love fish, summer is the perfect time to indulge in those fresh caught fillets. But be warned, the fish you're eating is often not what you think it is. In a large study done three years ago, scientists performed DNA tests on more than 1,200 samples of fish from nearly 700 different stores and restaurants. They found one out of three fish were mislabeled in violation of FDA regulations. Here with more is Larry Olmsted, author of Real Food, Fake Food, Why You Don't Know What You're eating and what you can do about it. Hi, Larry. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So, Larry, in the three years since this study was done by Oceana, has there been any improvement? What was the industry response? Um, we are just now starting to see some improvement. In 2014, President Obama uh, created a task force to combat seafood fraud uh, via presidential memorandum, and uh, that's taken a while. It's joint chaired by the Secretaries of Commerce and State, and um, they are now coming out with their recommendations, and a lot of uh, changes will start to take effect later this year, including uh, stepped up FDA investigations and use of a new DNA lab, so uh, and a whole new kind of FDA uh, anti-fraud program. So I think we are going, going to see some positive benefits, but they haven't really come around yet. And in terms of the fishing industry itself, how, how did the industry respond? Well, the um, National Fisheries Institute, which is the, the trade group, um, for the seafood industry has taken fraud pretty seriously. They, they launched their own um, better seafood board uh, and make members take vows not to do certain things uh, that are in violation of their ethics. And uh, they encourage consumers to uh, use restaurants that buy from a distributor who's a member of the Better Seafood Board. Right. So setting up a sort of honor code, as it were. OK, so let's talk a little bit about the actual fake fish. Which fish do experts say is most often faked? Uh, definitely red snapper. Red snapper is, is sort of the poster child for fish fraud in that another study Oceana did, 94% um, of the time people ordered uh, at restaurants or retail, they did not get red snapper. The number one substitute is a fish called tile fish, which uh, is high enough in mercury to make the FDA's do not eat list for pregnant women. Ooh. Tilapia is another common substitute. Ooh, so why does seafood uniquely lend itself to fraud? Is it just that those white fish fillets look so similar? Uh, that's absolutely a big part of it. I mean, it's not that the people in seafood are inherently evil or different from the other industries, but when you go to buy chicken, uh, for example, you might buy organic or you might buy regular, but you don't buy by breed. You just buy chicken. Seafood is, is thousands of different species, um, hundreds of which are widely commercially available. So it's just much more confusing. And we as consumers are a little more detached. You could take a fillet of almost any white fish and put it next to another one, and we could not tell what fish that came from. And you say also that a huge amount of the fish that we eat in this country is imported from abroad, correct? Yeah, over 90%. Uh, you know, I say 91% in my book. That was the best data when I went to press. But New York Magazine a couple of weeks ago said it's up to 95%. Wow. And one of the tips that you have, because I want to get to your tips, is to buy from American fisheries, correct? Those are just more carefully regulated? Absolutely. I mean, uh, Alaska uh, has some of the cleanest waters, best um, best seafood you can get, very sustainable, very well monitored. The Gulf of Mexico uh, for shrimp, um, oysters, crab in particular, uh, fantastic fishery, some good uh, fisheries off the East Coast, uh, Gulf of Maine. So, um, yeah, even the farmed fish is better in the U.S. The problem is there, there's very little aquaculture here because of the cost. I think that's something we'll see more of in the future. All right. So obviously we can control what we're eating a little bit more if we're buying the fish. Like you said, we can find out a little bit better where it's coming from. You say Whole Foods does a good job of sourcing their fish. But what if we're at a restaurant? Do you have tips for getting what you order? Yeah, I mean, restaurant is definitely tougher. Um, I would avoid or be very skeptical of red snapper, grouper. Those are the most um, substituted fish in restaurants. Also, um, high value fish, whether it's wild caught Alaskan salmon or red snapper, are not uh, that easy for restaurants to get good quality fish. So f restaurants serving them should use a good distributor. I would always ask who that distributor is. And if they, they don't have a sort of instant answer, that's a red flag. All right, Larry Olmsted, thank you so much for that. I'm a big fish lover, so I take everything you say to heart. Thanks. Thank you for that. Thanks for having me.